Pastor Sam Owusu is the founder and lead pastor of one of the largest churches in Vancouver, British Columbia. But the beginnings were little or nothing like what we have now. He's here to tell us the story. Pastor, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Now, you hail from Ghana. Uh, and uh, right now, you're celebrated as a, a great leader of an incredible multicultural church, something that doesn't happen, people don't see often. But the beginnings, uh, you growing up in Ghana, were very difficult and quite rough. Tell us a bit about the early years. Well, I mean, I grew up with, in a family of um, 10 children, um, nine boys and a girl, and it wasn't easy. Every, every, every day was a struggle. Um, every single day you wake up, you struggle for everything. Um, I, I, then I happened to, got admitted to uh, secondary school. I, I was the first of all the, the, the 10 children, and so, it is there that I actually met Jesus and everything be began to change uh, for me. But let, let me ask you then, his, I mean, there, there's a, in between the, the things you said, there's, there's a lot that yeah. happened, but our time is, is short. Yeah. Uh, so you're uh, one of 10 children. Uh, you get the opportunity to, to, to go to school. Yeah. But I also know you were, in, in your younger days, you were quite a character. You had your own mind of what you wanted and didn't want to do, yeah. uh, which got you into all sorts of trouble. So once you became a Christian, was that it? You were on the straight and narrow and behaved yourself? Well, I, I, wish, I, I wish I could tell you that, but for me, it was a long walk. I mean, there are people that get saved and then they, they experience a miraculous walk. Um, the things that I've done, I've been through, I guess when I became a Christian, they, they, they began to hunt me. And I realized even long into my, my Christian walk that I needed healing, I needed forgiveness, I needed God to touch me because that, that was a lot that happened to me. And so it's been a long healing walk. So now how do you go from a young man who loves Jesus yeah. and is just wants to serve Jesus, yeah. you know, struggling with some things, needing healing yeah. some things, to, okay, I, I, actually, I, I want to be a preacher. I want to be a missionary. Yeah. I think for me, obviously, I was looking for something. Um, there was an emptiness. There's a cavity in my soul. And that's what got me into alcohol, sex, whatever. I was looking for something. But once I encountered Jesus, I knew that actually this is what I've been looking for. Mm -hmm. And so I just switched from going after this thing and then throwing myself all. For me, it's like all or nothing. So I became a really, instead of a, a radical sinner, I became a, a radical Christian and I, it, it was powerful. Talking about radical Christianity, uh, I've heard stories of when uh, you, you were younger, uh, some of the preachers we know now were your contemporaries. You, you guys would go out and preach the gospel on buses. I mean, you would see God do some incredible things. Tell, tell us some of, some of the things that you saw God do when I you mean, were young. I mean, we, we were crazy. So we... we <laughs> I'm glad you said yeah, it. Yeah, we were crazy. <laughs> we, we take the Bible, you know, at its face value. So you, you read the book of Acts. They said they go out there, they, they pray for the sick and they recover. And, uh, you know, people pray for many hours. So we go in there and we pray for many hours. Sometimes, remember one time me and my friend, we pray for 14 hours nonstop. Just wanted to do what is in the Bible, how people can pray all night. And we would, we would do that. And we, and then after that, we'll hit the street. We go into work science and wonders, looking for sick people to practice what we, we have. And what, what, what did, did, you, did you find, what, what were some of the things that happened? Oh, I mean, uh, we, we saw the blind eyes open. I have a one particular instant where I was preaching at the marketplace and when I finished preaching, there, there was a cripple there and I don't know what came on me. I mean, I'm not sure, I'm not sure I'll do it again, but I said, look, if the Jesus we said that preached to is real, he's going to heal this man. And I, I took the man's crutches and he began to walk. I mean, I look back, I'm a guy, oh boy, that was a crazy faith. I but was going to say, now, now that you're here, I mean, you're, you're a sophisticated preacher, you, you know, Billy Graham organizations <laughs> and all those ask you to come and speak. What do you, when you look back, sometimes, you, do, do you go back in your mind's eye and talk to young Sam and say, Sam, what, what do you say to young Sam? Well, there are some things I'll not do it again, but there are some things I'll still do. I mean, that, that prayer, that craziness is still there. Uh, I, I haven't changed that much, you know, uh, that passion for Jesus. I realize that everything we are and whatever we do start on our knees. And so I still, I still cry upon God. I still go hours in prayer, fasting, 
that have not changed. So, I mean, I mean we're going to talk some more, but I just wondered from those uh, uh, very powerful uh, days of, you know, the sick being healed, so then you, you decide to become a missionary, you go abroad? Yeah, not really. I, I think I got saved in high school. Um, by, the, by the middle of high school, I knew this is all I want to do. I don't want to study. I just want to just preach, go into the buses. And I remember my father saying to me, listen, um, if you don't finish school, uh, you don't pass your, you know, your exams, I'm, I'm not going to let you preach. I wanted to finish first. So my father had a covenant that I should focus on school. And so that's what I did. So I remember the, the very last day I finished school, I went to my dad and said, I'm done. Now I want to go preach. And he said, OK. So I went to full-time Christian ministry right from high school. So now, how did you go from full-time Christian ministry in Ghana yeah. to, was, was Kenya your first stop? Yes, Kenya, um, I realized that this is when the charismatic movement started in Ghana, where young men have reached, we, we, we are of age now, we have started, started churches and things were happening fellowships and we, we didn't know what, what we were doing. I didn't know what, I knew that I could preach, I could do things, but we didn't know how to organize people and counsel them. So somebody su suggested me have a Bible school. At that time it was Jimmy Swagga, we were watching Jimmy Swagga. So I wrote to him, I said, look, uh, this is who I am. And so he actually recommended a Bible college for, for me to go to in Kenya. Wow. And so, yeah, that's how I ended up doing my first degree.